Welcome to the summer 2014 edition of the Rushmore Borough Council Arena magazine, featuring important information for the residents of Rushmore Borough. This audio edition of the Arena magazine is brought to you by FATN Talking News for the Visually Impaired. If you wish to contact Rushmore Borough Council about any issue, the telephone number is 01252 398399 and the web address is www.rushmore.gov.uk. The Arena magazine is also available in other formats. If you have difficulties in receiving your copy of the Arena magazine, please call Jill Chisnell at Rushmore Borough Council on 01252-398-744. This is Mary Parrott bringing you this audio copy of the Arena magazine, and with me today reading are Malcolm Ingalls and Sue Wilson, and our recording engineer is Ian Cook. We start with a message from Councillor Peter Moyle, the leader of Rushmore Borough Council. Welcome to the summer edition of Arena Magazine. With so much happening, this edition is packed full of events and activities to keep young and old alike amused over the summer months. This year marks some important anniversaries that are particularly poignant to our local area. We have just seen the 70th anniversary of D-Day, and in August we mark the 100th anniversary of the outbreak of the First World War. The Friends of the Aldershot Military Museum have put together a fantastic project, Rushmore Remembers. Aldershot and Farnborough in the First World War. This includes a special exhibition at the museum in August and September, and other activities such as walks and talks. It's certainly one not to be missed. The Farnborough Air Show takes to our skies in July and will also mark the centenary of the outbreak of World War I with a celebration of a hundred years of aviation. And for the first time, you can see inside Farnborough's Grade I and II listed wind tunnels as part of an exciting new art exhibition there. Saturday the 14th of June is a busy day, with the ever-popular Victoria Day in Aldershot Town Centre and the North Camp Summer Fair, which this year has a Caribbean theme. The last week of June sees the return of the week-long Aldershot Military Festival and Brickfields Country Park holds its annual Family Fun Day on Sunday 6th of July. With so much going on, keep an eye on our website, www rushmore.gov.uk for details of local events throughout the summer. The summer holidays can sometimes lead to cries of we're bored, but in Rushmore there's loads of summer activities on offer to beat the boredom blues, from swimming for a pound for youngsters aged 16 and under, to play schemes and special workshops. Our borough is blessed with more than 70 parks, playgrounds and open spaces, and it's a pleasure to enjoy the great outdoors. If you fancy getting fit, you can also take part in the weekly Park Run on the polo fields at Queen's Avenue, Aldershot. Of course, being outdoors and active can mean getting out in your own garden, and if your garden is your pride and joy, there's still time to enter Rushmore in bloom. Finally, one of the Council's priorities is to support local businesses and help the local economy thrive. As part of that, we are pleased to showcase one of our small businesses, Bids and Pieces of Aldershot. So, like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at Rushmore Council. Make us your favourite on your browser or phone. Inside this edition are the following items. News. Our new gum wand works its magic on Rushmore streets. We will remember them, marking the centenary of the outbreak of World War I. 
reaching out to help victims of domestic abuse. New Look Public Weekend for Farnborough Air Show. What's on? A summer spectacular of fun includes Victoria Day, the Military Festival, free weekly concerts at the Bandstand and Live Music Day, plus your local events listing. Make the most of Rushmore's Parks. Last chance to enter Rushmore in Bloom. Our summer holiday boredom busters could be just for you. Give yourselves a high five for recycling effort. And use your local. Bids and Pieces has haberdashery sewn up. Arena is produced by Rushmore Borough Council. Council offices Farnborough Road, Farnborough, Hampshire, GU 14 7JU. Telephone 01252 398399. The website www.rushmore.gov.uk. Email arena at rushmore.gov.uk. It is designed by Deep South Media. www. DeepSouthMedia.co.uk. The advertising is arranged by Spot On Media Limited, 0845-004-0683. Email info at spotonmedia.co.uk. It is printed by PCP Limited, 01952-585585. Each magazine costs less than 20p to produce. While every effort has been made to ensure accuracy, Rushmore Borough Council does not accept liability for any error or omission. Rushmore Borough Council does not endorse products or services advertised in ARENA. News. Looking at pavements covered in sticky chewing gum, many must wish they could wave a magic wand and make it all disappear. We may not have a magic wand, but, thanks to money raised from fixed penalties for littering and dog fouling, we do now have our very own gum wand. Usual methods of street cleaning have either failed to clean up old chewing gum properly, leaving permanent black marks on our pavements, or it can take many hours and lots of water to do the job. But the gum wand is a new tool which turns chewing gum to dust. We've been able to buy one from the money raised from fines issued to people caught dropping litter or pet owners failing to clear up their dog mess. The wand is more environmentally friendly than other methods, as it uses less power and water than steam cleaning or high-pressure washing. It also has a cleaning fluid that comes from a natural and sustainable sources. It works by a built-in vaporizer, which, with a wave of the wand over the dreaded gum, turns the sticky mess into powder, which is then simply brushed away. We are committed to keeping our streets, open spaces and towns as clean and welcoming as possible, and that is why we are putting the money raised from fixed penalty notices enforced to stop people spoiling our area for everyone else back into the keeping the area clean. To report a problem in your area, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash report it. Volunteers to the fore to keep our open spaces special. Dedicated groups of volunteers are clubbing together every week to keep Aldershot and Farnborough's open spaces clean and beautiful. One such group is the Southwood Golf Course Volunteers. Every week up to 25 volunteers put in a huge effort to keep the golf course tidy by carrying out tree work, shrub clearance, drainage work and bramble removal. And they're just one of many bands of volunteers carrying out similar work throughout Rushmore. 
These include the Row Hill Conservation Volunteers, who look after the 55-acre nature reserve on the edge of Aldershot, Southwood Woodlands Group, which runs conservation work parties every month to look after this 80 acre of woodlands in Farnborough. The resident-run Covebrook Greenway Group, which helps to improve the two-mile greenway that runs through Farnborough, and the Friends of Brickfields Country Park in Aldershot, which runs working parties twice a month. So, if you're interested in helping to keep our borough special, you can find out more by going to www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash outdoors. Funding available for community projects. Community groups can apply for up to £2,000 to help their local projects. The Have Your Say scheme has been launched for the second year running. It provides funding for local community projects chosen and voted for by local people. Hampshire County Council has provided the funding and we look after the local scheme with the support of Rushmore Voluntary Services. We welcome applications from small grassroots community projects that help improve the local environment and strengthen the community. This includes churches and schools. For more information on how to apply, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash have your say grant. News. We will remember them. As the home of the British Army for many decades, Rushmore will be pausing to remember those who have made the greatest sacrifice. This August marks the hundredth anniversary of the outbreak of the First World War, and the memorial events are taking place throughout the borough. Leading the commemorations are the Friends of the Aldershot Military Museum, with its project, Rushmore Remembers, Aldershot and Farnborough in the First World War. A special exhibition will be held at the museum between Wednesday the 6th of August and Sunday the 21st of September. There will also be coach tours to local sites connected with World War I on Saturday the 9th and Sunday the 10th of August. For more details, contact the Friends of the Aldershot Military Museum on 01252 621 221 or email friendsam, which is f-r-i-e-n-d-s-a-m-m, at hantsweb.org.uk. For the first time, a Rushmore Roll of Honour will be created to list all the local citizens who died in the war. Aldershot was the largest army camp in the UK, and Farnborough the leading centre for aviation. People of all ages in the community are doing their bit to remember the Great War. The 14th Aldershot Scout Group spent a night in World War I trenches at the Royal Logistic Corps Museum in Deep Cut to get a real taste of what their forebears experienced a hundred years ago. And in May, hundreds of people gathered at the Sixth Form College, Farnborough, to form a human poppy. This spectacular event was in aid of the Royal British Legion, Other events include talks and walks linked to World War I, commemoration of local Victoria Cross recipients, poppy planting, a memorial concert in Aldershot's Prince's Gardens bandstand, and remembrance and wreath-laying ceremonies. For details of what's happening locally and funding for community events, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash Rushmore Remembers Everybody needs good neighbours Unsung heroes from our Rushmore have been recognised for the sterling work that they do in the community Volunteers of all ages received honours at Hampshire's annual Good Neighbours Award including Ashika Ray 
who we nominated for the amazing work she does with young people in Rushmore. Ashika, who won a Volunteers Award, works with Naya Yuva, a local Nepali youth group that runs a number of projects bringing young people together. She also volunteers her own time to help Nepali students struggling with the English language. Other local winners included Mike Biggs from Farnborough, who helps people in the Nepali community through his work with the Royal British Legion. Walter Cliff from Cove, who voluntarily picks up litter from Pinewood Park. Sue Grook Cook for her ten years with the Farnborough Neighbourhood Care. Rita Jordan from Aldershot, who regularly runs errands for her neighbours. And Lucy Osborne from Aldershot, who helps others, young parents. In total, there were 13 Local Good Neighbour Award winners, and a huge well done to them all. New Memorial and Opening Times at the Crematorium A new memorial book has opened at the Park Crematorium Aldershot to help relatives remember their loved ones. The book, which is in the woodland area where the scattering of cremated remains takes place, contains black polished granite plaques with an inscription in gold lettering which can be dedicated for two, five or ten years. This year the crematorium launched new weekend opening times. The grounds are open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. from the 1st of April to the 30th of September and 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. from the 1st of October to the 31st of March. The office, Hall of Remembrance and Chapel are open from 10 a.m. to midday. The crematorium extends its opening hours on special occasions such as Mother's Day and Father's Day. For information, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash crematorium or call 01252 321 653. Community Nepali Woman of the Year reaches out to help victims of domestic abuse. Being a victim of domestic abuse can be one of the loneliest and scariest places to be. But what if you're a victim living in a different country, where you cannot speak the language fluently? Who do you turn to for support? Here in Rushmore we have one very special woman who is doing just that, helping domestic abuse victims from the Nepali community. For the past 16 months, Pushpa Gurung, has helped victims as a domestic abuse outreach worker at the Aldershot Citizens Advice Bureau, CAB. Her work has made such a difference to the lives of victims that she won the Non-Resident Nepali Association's Woman of the Year 2014 award. Pushpa told Arina how her intervention benefited one victim in particular. We helped a victim who was quite depressed and at risk from self-harm, Pushpa recalled. We were able to help her to settle at a woman's refuge, and with our support she's been able to build up her self-confidence. She's a very talented lady and started to express her sorrow through composing Nepali songs. She has now released a CD, has had a hit single in Nepal, and won several awards. I'm so very proud of her. Pushpa moved from Nepal to Aldershot with her husband and two sons in 2006. She added, It's very important that the Nepali community know there is someone they can turn to and speak about their problems, especially when they have a language and cultural barrier. I do face challenging situations. However, when you've been able to help someone, you get immense satisfaction, which is difficult to describe in words. Pushpa, 44, was one of ten women to win the national award. Her role at the CAB is supported by Department for Communities and Local Government Gurkha Settlement Funding, secured by the Council. <coughs> for information about all local support for domestic abuse, visit 
www.safernh.co.uk Thandra Six Formers exchange the hand of friendship. Students at the Six Form College in Thandra put their studies into practice when they embarked on two exchange visits with a partner college in Germany. For the eighth year running, the students, who are all studying A.S. German, visited the ta- twin town of Oberussel, where they stayed with exchange partner families for a week. Students from Germany then made the return journey to Farnborough for a week to visit the sites and experience student life at the college. Helping local youngsters to think safe. We are joining forces with a whole range of authorities to help children stay safe. In July, the Think Safe programme will take place for hundreds of primary school children in Aldershot and Farnborough. Think Safe is an active safety training programme where children take part in mock-ups of dangers they may face in everyday life and learn how to deal with them. Activities include scenarios based around fire safety, personal safety, healthy relationships, first aid and water safety. Children will also learn about consumer and food safety. What's on? New Look Public Weekend for Air Show. This year's International Farnborough Air Show takes place on the 19th and the 20th of July and looks to be the best one yet as it celebrates a hundred years of aviation to mark the centenary of the outbreak of World War I. The 2014 show will see a revamped offering from the air show organisers, Farnborough International Limited. Responding to customer feedback, the show will host a variety of new features, including a new interactive exhibit, The Labyrinth of Invention, an automotive zone and automotive entertainment, a general aviation park for those interested in learning to fly themselves, and high-end retail facilities. Another major advance to this year's show is the introduction of Farnborough Air Show Live. Hosted by TV's Angelica Bell and Michael Underwood, the celebrity couple will present an entertaining mix of interviews, competitions and film reports from a purpose-built stage in the heart of the public arena and broadcast across the show site via large screens. The five-and-a-half-hour flying spectacular and static aircraft display is set to please, with a broad selection of historic and modern aircraft from the last century, with displays from the Great War display team, the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, the World War II classic DC-3 Dakota, Falklands War hero the Sea Harrier, the RAF Typhoon display team and the Red Arrows. It's a real trip through the aviation history. There will be a series of traffic restrictions in place to make sure that the many visitors attending the trade show and the public weekend get in and out of the town as quickly as they can and cause as little disruption to local residents as possible. Parking restrictions will be in place on major routes and nearby residential roads. As with previous air shows, we appreciate that additional traffic will cause inconvenience to residents, and we thank you in advance for your patience and cooperation. For details of the air show, visit www.fambra.com. For full details of traffic restrictions, visit www.fambra.com rushmore.gov.uk forward slash traffic regulation orders paper copies are also available at the council offices Wind Tunnels Art Project is set for takeoff. an exciting project that will see Farnborough's Grade 1 and Grade 2 listed wind tunnels open to the public for the first time as innovative arts venues is ready to take off. From Monday the 9th of June, 
The historic structures will be the venue for a six-week art exhibition featuring sound and light installations created by international artists to reflect the unique space and artifacts and material provided by the FAST Museum and the Royal Aeronautical Library. The exhibition, which runs until Sunday the 20th of July, will be curated by Salma Toucan of the Victoria and Albert Museum and produced by Artliner, an organisation that stages art experiences around the world. It will feature work by writer and technologist James Bridle, who has drawn inspiration from one of the aircraft tested at Farnborough to create his Rainbow Plane installation series outside R133, and sound artist Thor McIntyre Burney, who will produce a sonic interpretation of the two wind tunnels. Alongside, it will be an educational program involving 30 local schools in classroom-based activities and visits to the site. There will also be lectures and podcasts produced in collaboration with the Royal College of Art and the Fast Museum. And to contact us, visit www.thewindtunnelproject.com for a calendar of events ranging from food art events to musical concerts and workshops. <clears throat> Experience the Caribbean in North Camp. Carnival comes to the streets of North Camp as part of the annual summer fair on Saturday the 14th of June. The Caribbean is the theme for this year's North Camp Summer Fair, which will feature a parade through North Camp and the fair at the Queen's Road Recreation Ground, where there will be a wide range of arena events, stalls, community groups and fairground rides. The procession starts at midday from Lynchford Road outside Boots the Chemist, and the fair itself runs from midday to 4pm. What's on? Fun for all the family. Aldershot's Outdoor Activity Centre, Runway's End, is holding a free family day on Saturday the 20th of September from 10am to 4pm. The centre will be teaming up with the Basingstoke Canal Society, local sports clubs and the Scouts to offer a wide range of outdoor sports and activities such as orienteering, caving, abseiling, shooting, canoeing, climbing, archery. There will also be fun activities and crafts for younger children. For information, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash runways end. Autumn at the Prince's Hall. From comedy to ballet, a sterling line-up of entertainment is scheduled at the Prince's Hall Aldershot this autumn. Visit www.princeshall.com for more details. Aldershot is the focus for a summer spectacle of events. Aldershot will be buzzing this summer with not one, not two, not even three, but four major events taking place. Kicking off the summer spectacular of events, we'll see the town turn the clock back nearly 200 years for its annual Victoria Day. On Saturday the 14th of June, there will be loads of family and community activities in the town centre, with street and stage entertainment, stalls, live music, dance performances, a children's farm and a traditional Punch and Judy show. And don't forget the colourful parade which sets off around the town centre at 11am. See www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash Victoria Day for details. The last week of June sees the return of the Aldershot Military Festival with a whole host of activities lined up to run from Monday the 23rd of June to Sunday the 29th of June. 
Planned events include a tour of the Aldershot Military Cemetery, historical town walks, local history talks at the Prince Consort's Library, and a film festival at Cine World. There will also be events at the Prince's Hall and West End Centre, including a school art and army photo exhibition at the Prince's Hall. Saturday will be Family Day, showcasing the work of several military units, with trade stalls and funfair rides also on offer. The day takes place in the various sports stadia and sites around Queen's Avenue, and includes displays by the world-famous Hackney Imps motorcycle display team, the Jump for Heroes parachute display team, performances by the Grenadier Guards and the Band of the Welsh Guards, Rugby Sevens, and a Rushmore Remembers commemorative event. The week rounds off with a 10-kilometre fun race on Sunday in aid of Safa and a Zumbathon at the Aldershot Garrison Sports Centre. For details, visit www armyshow.co.uk Aldershot will also be hitting the right notes with a summer of bandstand concerts. Every Saturday in July and August there will be free lunchtime concerts and performances in the bandstand. These include performances from the Sandhurst Community Brass Band, Basingstoke Concert Band, the Rushmore Concert Band, as well as a special outdoor theatre performance of the Three Musketeers on the 16th of August. Keep up to date with performances at www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash events. The town will also come alive to the sound of music when local bands come together to perform for the Aldershot Live Music Day on Saturday the 26th of July. Three stages will be set up throughout the town, hosting more than 25 rock, pop, world and acoustic acts. For more details, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash Aldershot Live Music. A special thank you to our armed services personnel. To mark Armed Forces Day in Aldershot, we are once again joining forces with local retailers to offer special discounts to serving soldiers. This will be available from 28th of June to the 5th of July. Shops taking part will display posters in their windows. You can find more information and details of those shops taking part at www rushmore.gov.uk forward slash armed forces day The following are advertisements within the Rushmore Arena paper Coming soon at the orchards Unique two bedroom split level apartments and stylish three bedroom houses located in the heart of North Town Aldershot Available to buy this summer Move into one of these superb brand new homes and the or at the orchards with just 5% deposit. www.helptobuy.org.uk The orchards, for further information, please contact our sales and marketing team on 02380 684 463. Visit www.firstwessex.org or email sales at firstwessex.org. Price and availability were correct at time of going to press. Farnborough Neighbour Care. This friendly and flexible organisation provides transport for Farnborough residents who need to attend medical appointments but are unable to use public transport. 
this service is much appreciated within the community and since it began has completed nearly 50,000 drives. Want to volunteer with us and enjoy life as a good neighbour? Contact the Neighbour Care Office on telephone number 01252 371199 or www.farnborough.neighbourcare.co.uk Grime Stoppers Domestic Oven Cleaning Fighting Grime in Surrey and Hampshire Local owner-operated business Ovens, hobs, extractors and white goods cleaned No harmful chemicals used 100% feedback from checkertrade.com customers www.thegrimestoppers.co.uk Telephone 01483 235 319 or a mobile number 07725 916 094 Email info at thegrimestoppers.co.uk Summer A brilliant time to deal with heating problems. British-made electrical heating from Sunflow. It is our nature to yearn for the summer and put things off for the autumn. However, while the cool nights are still with us, we won't forget the cold spots in the house or how cranky and expensive the current heating system is. The worst thing is getting to October and finding that everything has ground to a halt. Waiting too long may mean a hurried decision and, worse, a wrong decision. A quick fix is often an expensive fix and could well lead to more costly changes in a year or two. Whether it is just one or two rooms or the whole home sunflow wants you to think differently. Invincible heaters are the only refractory clay heaters to carry the British Standards Institute kite mark. No need to buy off-the-shelf refractory heaters when Sunflow's made-to-order bespoke heaters make much more sense both financially and by design. Sunflow's superb invincible range is made in Britain. We invite you to compare the quality. Invincible heaters are built to last with a life expectancy of 40 years. Invincible heaters are built with care, precision and pride at our Royal Wooden Bassett factory carrying on a North Wiltshire tradition of British engineering excellence. Each made-to-order heater has a 10-year guarantee and unlike other electric heaters this includes 10 years on the controls. The Sunflow manufacturer's guarantee means that in the unlikely event something does go wrong we come to you. A foreign manufacturer's guarantee may mean their heater would have to go back to the factory. How do you send a heating system back to Germany? Who pays the transport? Intelligent power management. Red, amber, green. Invincible heaters let you know when they are drawing full power, such as when the room is cold. Reduced power as it approaches the temperature that you set and no power draw while remaining the comfort setting you require. Lots of our customers have replaced night storage, gas, oil and LPG systems with Sunflow heaters. Sunflow has fully qualified gas safe engineers and electricians with a great deal of experience in replacing old systems. And in addition to the British Standards Institute kite mark, they're registered with the Association of Plumbing and Heating. For your free brochure, call our 24-hour brochure line on 0800 158 8270. And if you have questions, call Suzanne on 0800 158 8272. Devereux House A warm, friendly welcome awaits in our residential care home. 
long or short term care available, including respite care. Fully trained staff available 24 hours. 16 rooms with en suite facilities and aid call. Food freshly prepared on site. Special diets are catered for. Lift to the first floor. An activities program. Visiting hairdresser and chiropodist. Free use of daycare centre facilities. Visitors always welcome. Access to satellite television. And it is non-profit making. The daycare centre is open from 10am to 3pm. There are fully trained care staff, fully accessible transport available. Midas trained minibus drivers and escorts. All refreshments and hot lunch provided. Special dietary needs catered for. A small shop for sweets and sundries. Assisted bathing service available. Activities programme including craft, exercise, bingo, quizzes and games. A quiet room for reading or watching TV. Landscape gardens suitable for wheelchair users. And trial visits welcome. Do you need extra care following an illness or operation? Call us now for further details. Phone 01252 512 967 Fax 01252 541 935 Email admin at devererhouse dot co dot uk or call in sixty nine Albert Road Farnborough Hampshire G U fourteen six S L The company number is five one one four six six one and the registered charity number one one O eight O five four the website www.devererhouse.hampshire.org.uk Go Wild at Brickfields Country Park The Friends of Brickfields Country Park is hosting a Wildlife Family Fun Day on Sunday the 6th of July. From 11am to 4pm, this free event will include farm animals, birds of prey, displays, stalls and displays from local environment and wildlife groups, hot and cold refreshments, games, quizzes and a tombola. The mobile farm display in particular is a very popular attraction with its interactive display of ducks, goats, geese, rabbits, cattle, chickens, pigs and other farmyard animals. And now the detailed listings. From Monday the 9th to Friday the 20th of June, the Bible Exhibition at Ashvale Christian Assembly, Frimley Road, Ashvale, from 10am to 8pm Monday to Friday, and 2pm to 8pm on Sunday. And you can contact ik.young at ntlworld.com. Saturday the 14th of June, Victoria Day, at Aldershot Town Centre, 10am to 5pm, the parade starts at 11am. Also on Saturday the 14th of June, Farnborough Symphony Orchestra, The Planets, Princess Hall, Aldershot, 7.45pm, £12 for adults, £6 for children and students in full-time education. And you can contact Kim Dias on 07582-345898 or visit www.farnborough-symphony.org.uk Still on Saturday the 14th of June, North Camp Summer Fair, Procession Midday at Lynchford Road, 
fair midday to 4 p.m. at the Queen's Road Recreation Ground. On Monday the 16th of June, the film, August Osage County, which is 15 rated, Princess Hall Aldershot, 2.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m., £6, or if you have a screen pass, £5. Wednesday the 18th of June, Platform 4 presents Twelfth Night at the West End Centre Aldershot at 8pm. £10 or £6 for concessions. Thursday the 19th of June, Miles Jupp. Is this the chap you're thinking of? At Princess Hall Aldershot at 7.45pm, £15. Thursday, the 19th of June, again, Ben Hart, Amazing Magic, at the West End Centre of Aldershot, 8pm, £12, or £10 for concessions, and family tickets can be obtained for £40, or £36 for concessions. From Friday, the 20th of June, to the 25th of July, that's Fridays, Internet and email for beginners at Farnborough Library and Learning Centre, 10 a.m. It's a five-week course, £40, and booking is essential. You can call 01252 516 458. Saturday the 28th of June, Historic Aldershot Military Town at the West End Centre in Aldershot at 7pm. That's £10, and is a display of Aldershot's past. On Monday the 30th of June, another film, Twelve Years a Slave, again 15, Princess Hall, Aldershot, 2.30pm and 7.30pm, £6.00, or five pounds with a screen pass. From Thursday the 3rd to Sunday the 6th of July, back to the 80s, at the Samuel Cody Specialist Sports College, Farnborough, at 7.30pm Thursday and Friday, 2.30pm and 7.30pm Saturday, and 1.30pm Sunday, £13 or £10 concessions and a family ticket, £42. This is a summer musical by Starburst, a local charity raising money for children with special needs. It's suitable for ages 14 and over. Call 07011 or visit www.starburst foundation.org.uk forward slash theatre forward slash back hyphen 80s hyphen 2014 slash Saturday the 5th of July the Sandhurst Community Brass Band is playing in the Prince's Garden Bandstand Aldershot from midday to 2pm Sunday the 6th of July, Family Fun Day at Brickfields Country Park, Aldershot. From 11am to 6pm, free. Farm animals, birds of prey display, plus hot and cold refreshments. www.brickfieldspark.org Thursday the 10th of July, Mark Thomas, Work and Progress, West End Centre, Aldershot, 8pm, £10 or £8 concession. Various events on Saturday the 12th of July. The first, Cove Brook Greenway, Blondon Hall, Blondon Road, Cove, 10am, general work along the brook, call 0751088 or visit www. 
blackwater-valley.org.uk forward slash cove then an under hyphen brook under hyphen greenway dot html also on saturday the 12th of july the cactus brass band at the prince's gardens bandstand aldershot from midday till 2 p.m. and also on the same day rasc rct association band prince's hall aldershot an anniversary concert to commemorate 1914 to 2014 lest we forget 2 p.m. 12 pounds call 01252 692 026 or visit www.rascrctmusicians.co.uk and Monday the 14th of July a film The Book Thief which is 12A rating at the Princess Hall Aldershot from 2.30pm at 2.30pm and 7.30pm £6 or with a screen pass £5 Saturday the 19th of July Cove Brook Greenway Walk the Brook with Clive Blunden Hall Blunden Road Cove 10am Saturday the 19th of July Basingstoke Concert Band Prince's Gardens Bandstand Aldershot Midday 2 o'clock Saturday the 26th of July Aldershot Live Music Day Aldershot Town Centre from Midday It's free Monday the 28th of July Zoo Lab Aldershot Library and Learning Centre 11am £3.50 Animal World Cup Brazil 2014 Limited Places Ticket Only Call 01252 322560 Tuesday the 29th of July Craft Workshop at Prince's Hall Aldershot 10am till 4 £16 Ages 7 to 11 Tuesday the 29th and Wednesday the 30th of July Dance in a Day Princess Hall Aldershot, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m., 16 pounds, ages 6 to 10. Thursday the 31st of July, Play in a Day, Beauty and the Beast. Princess Hall Aldershot, 10 until 4, 16 pounds, ages 7 to 11. Friday the 1st of August, Tech in a Day, Theatre Technical Workshop, Princess Hall Aldershot, 9.30 to 4.30, Twenty-five pounds, ages twelve to sixteen. Friday the first to Sunday the third of August, Westerval weekend, West End Centre Aldershot, eight p.m. The best indoor festival in the world just got bigger and better. Weekend ticket forty-two pounds, thirty-four pounds for concessions. Friday and Saturday day tickets twelve pounds, ten pounds for concessions. Sunday eight pound fifty. Saturday, the 2nd of August, World War I Commemorative Concert, Prince's Gardens Bandstand, Aldershot, midday, 2 to 2 p.m., free. To mark the 100th anniversary of the outbreak of World War I, the Rushmore Concert Band will perform a special commemorative concert. Monday, the 4th to Friday, the 8th of August, Musical in a Week Workshop, Prince's Hall, Aldershot, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Performance on Saturday the 9th of August is at 2 p.m. Ages 7 to 11 and it's £100 for the week. On Saturday the 9th of August, Covebrook Greenway, renovating dipping areas at Blunden Hall, Blunden Road, Cove, 10 a.m. Call 0751 O eight eight one nine three nine. Also on Saturday the ninth of August, Bagshot Concert Band at Prince's Garden Bandstand, Aldershot, midday to two p.m. free. Saturday the sixteenth of August, 
The Three Musketeers, an outdoor theatre performance in the Prince's Gardens Bandstand, Aldershot, 2.30pm, again that's free. Saturday the 23rd of August, Charles Church Camberley Brass Band at the Prince's Gardens Bandstand, Aldershot, midday to 2pm, free. Saturday the 30th of August, Alder Valley Brass Band, again in the Prince's Gardens Bandstand, Aldershot, midday to 2pm and free. Thursday the 4th of September, Sam Sweeney's Fiddle, Made in the Great War, the West End Centre Aldershot from eight, at 8pm, £8 £15. Discover the amazing history of a hundred-year-old violin made by the First World War soldier Richard Howard. And for more events, you can visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash events. And the details of the box office is for bookings. Farnborough Library and Learning Centre, telephone 01252 516458 or you can email linda with a y dot baines at hans dot gov uk Aldershot Library and Learning Centre 01252 322560 and you can Aldersh- email them aldershot.library at hants.gov.uk The Prince's Hall 01252 329155 their, em- their website is www.princeshall.com And the West End Centre 01252 330040 and their website is www.westendcentre.co.uk Pride in Rushmore Having fun is a walk in the park. From playing poo sticks to swinging from a tree, there's a whole host of play opportunities and entertainment to be found in our beautiful parks and open spaces. And it's all free. There's nothing quite like fresh air, exercise and family time and you can't beat the fun you have in the great outdoors. But sometimes convincing our children to get outside can be a bit of a struggle. That's why we want to encourage them to get mucky, discover their wild side and most of all enjoy what Mother Nature has to offer. And we have plenty of parks and open spaces to choose from. In fact, there are more than 70 parks, playgrounds, sports fields, recreation areas, nature reserves and woodlands throughout Aldershot and Farnborough. You can find them all on our website at www.rushmoor.gov.uk forward slash parks. Or you could join the Park Run Scheme. One way to enjoy our parks is to take part in the nationwide initiative that's encouraging people to take up running on Saturdays. Called Park Run, the scheme is seeing people take to the polo fields at Queen's Avenue Aldershot on a Saturday for a two and a half or five kilometer run. It is a free and sociable event aimed at helping people to meet new friends while improving their fitness at the same time. For more details, visit the www.parkrun.org.uk forward slash Rushmore. Try the National Trust's tick list for ideas on things to do outdoors. The National Trust campaign to encourage children to complete 50 things before they hit the grand age of 11 and 3 quarters is a brilliant campaign and one that we would like to promote in Rushmore. The 50 things to do list includes such delights as searching for mini beasts, rolling down a big hill and making mud pies. 
So go on, have a go, it's fun for adults too. And you can download the tick list from www.50things.org.uk. And now we come to the committee timetable. The meetings in June. The 10th, the annual meeting of the Council. 11th, Development Control Committee. The 12th, Licensing and General Purposes Committee. The 16th, Standards and Audit Committee. The 17th, the Cabinet. The 19th, Licensing Committee, bracket Alcohol and Entertainments. The 23rd, Leisure and Youth Policy and Review Panel. The 26th, Corporate Services Policy and Review Panel. 30th, Borough Services Policy and Review Panel. July, on the 1st, the Licensing Subcommittee. Also on the 1st, Environment Policy and Review Panel. On the 3rd, Community Policy and Review Panel. On the 9th, Development Control Committee. The 10th, the Council Meeting. The 15th, the Cabinet. 17th, the Licensing Committee, Alcohol and Entertainments. The 28th, Licensing and General Purposes Committee. And the 29th, Licensing Subcommittee. In August, on the 6th, Development Control Committee. 12th, Cabinet. The 14th, Licensing Committee, Alcohol and Entertainment. And the 26th, Licensing Subcommittee. In September, the 3rd of, uh, of September, Development Control Committee. The 8th, Leisure and Youth Policy and Review Panel. The 9th, Cabinet. The 11th, Licensing Committee, Alcohol and Entertainments. And also on the 11th, Corporate Services Policy and Review Panel. And on the 15th, Borough Services Policy and Review Panel. And the public is welcome at all meetings. Most start at 7pm at the Council offices in Farnborough Road. Cabinet meetings start at 4.30pm. And for more information, call Cathy Flat on 01252 398 829 or visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash meetings calendar. Harry, last chance to enter in bloom competition. If you want to dig for victory and plant the seeds of success, there are just days left to enter the Rushmore in Bloom competition. Green-fingered enthusiasts can enter gardens or plots and do their bit to inject some flower power into our communities. There are 12 categories to enter, including Best Front Garden, Best Floral Display, Using Baskets and or Containers, and Best Wildlife Garden. Or you can join forces with your neighbours and enter the best street or community garden. There's also an allotment competition and a school gardening competition. All categories are free to enter. The closing date is the 23rd of June and judging takes place between the 6th, and the 7th and the 16th of July. You don't have to be a gardening expert to enter and who knows, you may come up smelling of roses. For more information, visit www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash Rushmore in Bloom or email susan.jones at rushmore.gov.uk Garden volunteers are blooming marvellous. A special band of men and women are volunteering their time to make our community more beautiful. The Blooming Marvellous Gardening Project helps people who want to volunteer their time but need some support to do so. 
Together they manage two allotment plots, work in the gardens of older and disabled people, improve community spaces, and work with other countryside charities. The group holds five sessions a week to carry out its activities. If you would like to join the project and help keep Rushmore looking blooming lovely, or you know a garden that needs a one-off visit, go to www.rvs.org.uk or call 01252-540-162. And now more details of Rushmore in Bloom, which is open to all residents and businesses in Rushmore. And the first category is Best Front Garden, sponsored by Squires Garden Centre in Badshot Lee, and the garden must be visible from public access. Second category is Best Pub or Restaurant Frontage, sponsored by Alder Wood Tree Services. Category 3 is Best Street or Residence Association or Community Garden sponsored by Aspire Defence Systems. Four is Blessed Floral Display using baskets and or containers, including on balconies, sponsored in memory of Jim White. Category five is the most unusual planted container. Plants must be planted in the container and this display clearly identified for the judge's visit. And that's sponsored by Carl... Councillor Charles Chowdhury. Six, most water efficient garden, sponsored by South East Water. Category seven is best commercial display or landscaping, sponsored by North Hampshire Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Category eight is best kept First Wessex tenants garden, sponsored by First Wessex. Nine is Best Kept First Wessex Communal Garden, sponsored by the Tenants Consultative Group. Category 10 is the Best Sheltered Housing Complex or Residential Care Home, sponsored by Sheila Stevenson. And 11 is the Best Young Gardener, sponsored by Colin Bolchin. And there's a new category, 12, the most improved wild garf- wildlife garden or the best garden for ger- birds and that's sponsored by the Rushmore Urban Wildlife Group. And there's a note that first-time entrants will also be eligible to win the best newcomer category which is sponsored by Rosemary Posse. And the overall event is sponsored by Squires of Badshot Lee The event is organised by Rushmore Borough Council and is supported by the Aldershot News and Mail. Rushmore Kids Summer Holiday Boredom Busters If the long school holidays fill you with dread, never fear, help is here. There are so many summer activities taking place throughout the borough that we promise we'll have an answer to the inevitable cries of We're Bored! For starters, the Aldershot Lido has reopened for the summer season, providing a swimmingly good time for all. With its three water flumes, diving platform, toddler paddling pool and sand pit, water fountain feature and picnic area, there's something for all ages to enjoy. If the weather's not looking too good for an outdoor dip... Don't forget there's subsidised swimming for children aged 16 years and under at our indoor pools in Farnborough and Aldershot. Throughout the summer holidays, swimming for youngsters aged 16 years and under is just a pound, or free if they're under eight. One under eight goes free per paying adult. If football is more your child's thing, then the popular Soccer at Six, organised by Aldershot Town FC, runs in parks across Aldershot and Farnborough until August. It could be just the goal you're looking for. Soccer at Six is a pay-and-play initiative for juniors to receive football coaching and have fun. 
It is suitable for both beginners and advanced players. For more details, visit www.aldershottownfitc.co.uk And if you need a safe environment that will provide plenty of activities for your children while you're at work, there are play schemes throughout the borough. You can find details of local play schemes on our website www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash play schemes Don't forget there's also the Alpine Snow Sports Centre or day camp sports courses and so much more going on throughout the summer. If you're still out of ideas do look at our website where you can find out about many of our local facilities. Just click on our Community and Leisure section and you'll be amazed by how much there is to see and do locally. New Youth Centre is proving to be a big hit with the local community. Young people and community organisations in Farnborough are enjoying a much improved youth centre. The Whetstone Road Youth Centre is now based in a larger, more suitable unit and is proving a big hit with the local community. Not only is it a home to the local youth club, but it is also used by a wide range of local organisations, including us, the police and Sentinel Housing Association. Initially set up by the police and now run by The Gaming Zone, a not-for-profit organisation that runs other successful youth groups in Rushmore, the Whetstone Road Youth Centre provides free support and activities for children aged between 5 and 18. The centre was so popular that before the larger unit was introduced, young people were being turned away on some evenings. Our investment in the new facility means more young people can now attend the youth group. The building is also available for hire for meetings, events and clubs. For more details, contact Claire with an E Dixon at thegamingzone.org or call 01252 545265. Army cadets move to new premises too. The Army Cadet Force, ACF, which provides activities and training for young people aged 12 to 18, has moved to the Air Training Corps at St. Christopher's Road, Cove. A charitable organisation, the AFC, promotes military discipline and schemes run by the Department of Education and BTEC. And for more information, you can visit www armycadets.com Environment High Five We'd like to award you all with a high five for your superb recycling efforts all year round. Across Hampshire, residents recycle more than 100,000 tonnes of materials each year through household collections and that is down to you but there is even more we could recycle. In fact, we estimate that as much as 50% of the items disposed of through normal household waste bins could be recycled. And since it costs more to dispose of items as waste than it does to recycle them, it makes sense to recycle as much as possible. What's more, Despite the high quantity of materials placed in household recycling, we're still not getting it quite right. Up to 15% of the materials put in the recycling bins actually cannot be recycled. To help us achieve even better results and save you money, we have two golden rules. Make sure you only put our high five items out for recycling and do not put them in plastic carrier bags. You can get more recycling tips by going to www.hants.gov.uk forward slash recycle for Hampshire 
or www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash rubbish and recycling. So give yourselves a high five for recycling efforts. Our high five items for recycling are 1. Tins and cans 2. Aerosols 3. Paper 4. Cardboard and 5. Plastic bottles Raise and recycle your glass for the World Cup With the 2014 World Cup around the corner We expect a glass or bottle or two will be raised in cheering on the three lions. And with the expected rise in empties, we would urge you all to make sure that you recycle your glass. You can put out your glass bottles and jars in your blue box, basket or purple bin, which we'll collect from you every fortnight at the same time as your blue recycling bin. But remember, we cannot recycle lids. Please put them in your rubbish bin. Pyrex or broken glass. Carefully wrap it and put it in your rubbish bin. Or drinking glasses. Carefully wrap them and put them in your rubbish bin. Cheers. Late licences are available for England matches. During the World Cup... Pubs, restaurants and other licensed premises will be able to stay open until 1am whenever there's an England match with a kick-off time of 8pm or later. This is because the government has relaxed the licensing hours for the event. Licensed premises can also apply to extend their opening hours beyond 1am during the World Cup using a temporary event notice, a TEN. You can see if a business has applied for a TEN on our website www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash register of licences. You can also find details of local licensed premises and current applications at www.rushmore.gov.uk forward slash licensed premises map. For details, contact our licensing team on 01252 398 855. Use your local. Bridget and Phil have success all sewn up. Welcome to the second of a new feature in Arena, Use Your Local. To support local businesses and help ensure a thriving economy, one of the Council's priorities, we are throwing the spotlight on a local independent shop. In this issue, we are inspired to get creative by one local shop in Aldershot. Husband and wife team Phil and Bridget Powell have certainly sown the seeds of success with their business, Bids and Pieces. Unashamedly old-fashioned and traditional, This local haberdashery, based in the Wellington Centre, has tapped into the ever-growing popularity of sewing, knitting, crocheting and hand-making. It all started when Bridget noticed the wooden buttons were flying off her craft stall. I was running craft stalls at local events and started selling wooden buttons, which proved really popular, Bridget recalled. I was then given the opportunity to run a stall in the Wellington Centre one Thursday in May 2012. That soon turned to three days a week, and by September we had four tables six days a week. We gradually increased the haberdashery items we were selling, and with more success we knew we needed a shop. When an empty shop became available in the centre... Bridget and Phil jumped at the chance, and Bids and Pieces was born in December 2012. Here they sell all things haberdashery, from pins and needles to ribbons and wool, to fabric and fat quarters material pieces. They've even developed their own unique brands, such as the walking stick wristband, 
designed by Phil. Bridget, whose father and grandfather both worked in retail, said, I've always wanted to run my own shop, and I knew I wanted to run a niche business. It soon became clear there was nothing else like us in the Aldershot area. And in fact, we attract shoppers from as far as Guildford and Reading. There definitely seems to be a growing interest in sewing and knitting, with a whole new generation discovering the delights of making and repairing things yourself. I also think the recession has played a part, with more people deciding to repair rather than throw out or buy things from charity shops that need adjusting or that more personal touch added. I think along the way many of us lost our interest when it came to making things ourselves, but that is definitely coming back again. And you can find bids and pieces in the Wellington Centre Aldershot, or for more information visit www.bidsandpieces.co.uk Mediation service can help mend family relations. Step by Step, a registered charity supporting young people aged between 11 and 25, is expanding its family mediation service locally. It provides drop-in advice and guidance, as well as professional family mediation, helping to strengthen or mend strained and fractured relationships in the immediate or extended family. You can find out more about the valuable services Step by Step provides at www.stepbystep.org.uk <coughs> That concludes the summer 2014 issue of the Rushmore Arena magazine brought to you by FATN Talking News. If you wish to contact us, and especially if you or anyone you know would be interested in receiving a free audio copy of your local newspapers, please ring FATN on 01252 719 or visit our website at www.farnhamaltontn.co. UK. Meanwhile, it's goodbye from Malcolm. Goodbye. From Sue. Bye-bye. From our engineer Ian. Goodbye. And from me, Mary Parrott. <laughs>